Oh. I mean, that is just so good. That was just so pure. Yeah. That was another one of those, whoa! Oh, yeah, I got a... <laughs> well, I mean, what a ball flight. What does it take to hit consistent, well-struck iron shots? Well, what you're about to watch is a lesson that we've just done with Wynn. Wynn was struggling with hitting the ground first, duffing his irons, hitting high, weak shots. We changed one thing in his grip, and we did the flick the mud drill with him, which completely transformed his golf swing, and he was absolutely peppering the pin. If you struggle with your iron shots, this lesson is really gonna help you. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're at the back of the range here. Win, welcome. Thanks. Um, what's most important for you today? 15 handicap. Yes. Let's score 81, you said. Yep. What's the most important thing you want to get from today? Just to uh, increase my greens and regulation. I think that will make the game a, a little easier if I'm, if I'm putting and not always trying to chip it close, so, <laughs> you know, every hole. So if I can get a little bit more consistent with the irons and, and get onto the green, uh, I think that'll be really helpful. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at one thing first of all. I want to show you first of all, show the guys at home. So we just notice, notice all these shots. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all really fading off to the right. So every one there, it's either hit the target or missed right. Mm -hmm. So if we look at your shot pattern, it's a little fade yep. with a tendency to miss to the right. Yes. We've got to factor that in when you get on the golf course, but we've got to understand well, why, why is that happening. Okay. So all I want you to do is just get ready to play another shot for me. Okay. So we, we can see the tendency, we can see the shot pattern. It's always important to understand that. So when you look at that, you go, if I, my tendencies are miss right, mm -hmm. I need to play with that. So let's hit okay. another shot for us. All right. Get yourself ready. Okay, perfect. Now, if you hold it there for me, okay. all I'm gonna do, just quickly on this, okay. I'm just gonna put down some alignment sticks here. Okay. As, a, as roughly where, tell me when these are parallel. Do uh, these look parallel? Yeah, they look pretty parallel. Okay, so yep. just stand back and have a look. Okay. Just see where those are pointing for me in relation to the blue, the blue flag. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see... Uh... So we can see there that the shots that you're missing right mm -hmm. are good shots. Okay. They're going reasonably close to where you're actually aiming. Most shots that you've hit there, you've aimed to the right. Okay. And then you hit a shot and you go, oh, I missed right. What happened there? Was it yeah. swing? So when you look at your shot pattern mm -hmm. and it goes right, like for me, if the ball's curving right away from target, mm -hmm. we aim left. Yeah. Until we can sort of straighten it up and tighten it up. So that's the yeah. first thing we're going to do with you. Okay. Is I'm just going to drop this down as a guide to ensure that we've got a somewhat reference to target. Because now what we're going to see is that there's less, less likely to miss the golf ball to the right. Okay. But now we can start to look at the golf swing from a true alignment. So this is going to feel like you're aiming probably sure. left. Okay. So let's jump in, let's have a... All right. And this is so important, like, know. Wynn knows that he misses it right, but still aims right. So sometimes it's not obvious, we don't make these little adjustments that, that need to be made, but this one change here could save your scores, because if you're missing greens on the golf course, mm -hmm. and it's just an alignment issue, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's great that we haven't got to think about too much in the swing with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And there might we, be some other things, obviously, we, we need come, to look at. We come into the swing of soon course. as well. So All right. let's have three or four shots. Okay. I'm going to just now change this on here. But you, you fire away. It's good. Yeah. So now we know if the ball misses right, then it's a golf swing thing or a go yeah. or a something in the in the yeah. technique, which we're going to come to. So have a couple more shots. Beautiful. Now that is the first shot that's pitched left of the flag. Oh. And it's, Excuse me. Can we talk about how close it is? <laughs> pitch, it's pitch one like one yard left of the flag. Okay. That's the best shot and then that you've bent hit. to the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly winning. <laughs> that was nice. But now you that what a great shot from a great alignment. Yeah. You just yeah, just hit a really nice shot there. And you should, like as we mentioned, Wynn strikes it really well. He's got a really simple golf swing. With a couple of additions that we're gonna go into, I think it's gonna be really good. I mean he already, he's already hitting it really nice, but some of these adjustments are gonna be big for him. Yeah, nice. Again, there's a a great example where that was a strong shot actually. So how crucial is this alignment? You've got to make sure you're aiming in the right place. But before Andy gets into the grip, we're going to go into that and the golf swing. If you're enjoying this, make sure you hit the like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Also, Win is a subscriber, so it gives you a great chance of being on this lesson tee, having a live lesson. So make sure you subscribe. Okay, Win. so let's, let's just go through really the, the key things in the golf swing that we're going to change. Okay. Um, the grip is the number one priority that we change here. We'll go into that in a minute, but let's, let's look at the golf swing. So from what we're going to look at face on, We'll see early on in the swing, we have this sort of a bit of a sway with the head where it sort of moves out of the box slightly. But when the, 
the left arm reaches parallel to the ground, there's not really any set in the club. So we've got this sort of heavy body movement away with no real sort of hands and arms working here. Really nice at the top here, but because we've sort of limited the hands and the arms, mm -hmm. because the grip is slightly off, mm -hmm. it's now harder to actually square it up. The face gets a little open on the way down. And if we move this way, the risk is always that we hit the ground first. So right. if we can reduce the sway, but add in some, some set, it's gonna make a big difference. So just to show you guys at home, this is what we're after as well. So we'd love wind to actually create a bit more of a centered pivot where the head stays in the box. But by the time the left arm reaches parallel to the ground, we'd love to see that the, uh, we've got this 90 degree angle here. But with a weak grip, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. it's very hard to create a set. If we create the set, we just slice everything. Yep. So the priority really is to change the grip first. It's gonna feel really weird. Um, <laughs> sure. But yep. then what we'll do is we're gonna give you some really simple drills that can help you with just getting some energy in the club. So actually getting energy here instead of your energies more with, and that's something that you'd worked on, obviously you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's jump in. Let's get, right. let's get tidying this grip up a little bit for us then. All right. So if you take your setup for me, normal grip, everything the same, yep. and I'm gonna bring you guys in to see a close up of this left hand. Okay. So you tell me when you're comfortable here then for yep. a swing. Perfect. This is pretty good. Take your right hand off for me. Brilliant. So notice, just a little higher there, Pierce, we can see a little bit of the back of this here. Good. What I'm going to do, if you open the hand up for yeah. me, good. So he already knows what we're going to do here because he's <laughs> thought about it. I want you to get it a little more over. That's it, just there. Oh, just... Perfect. So the thumb is ever so slightly look down the right of Golf Pride. Okay. We can now see the logo. And we can see anymore. the logo on the back of the glove. Okay. So I love this thumb being slightly down here and you can see now that the whole hand is more over, yeah? Okay. Feel different? Absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go with the right hand on. All right. I'd love to get the right hand really nice and secure on the club. Okay. I feel like it's quite light. I want to just really get a nice solid okay. grip with even with these fingers here. Okay. You can yep. see it's almost almost been sort of not having it in the hands yep. that much. Yep. But now this left hand feels totally different to yeah. yeah. What does it feel like the club face wants to do with this hand? If I relax then it's gonna It wants to close, close. which is exactly what we want in okay. the swing, because a weak grip will promote an open face. Okay. So, um, I'm interested to see what happens to the ball flight from this grip change. What should happen is we should see the ball drift a little bit more left, if anything. So let's just hit some shots with this and then we'll get into the swing. Okay. Okay, now, first of all, first good strike with the good grip. Yes. What was the shape? A little, le oh, small draw. Small left. draw, yep. small draw. So that's probably the first one that we've seen that's actually gone that way. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, which is exactly the change that we want to have. Like, all I want to do is tell you what we're going to expect. We should miss it left. Okay. That gives you the confidence. As soon as you hit a shot with it, that feels really weird. Yeah. But you see the result. It's like, okay, let's yeah, do that again. It works. Oh. Beautiful. What was the O for then? I felt like I didn't even feel the ball. Oh, <laughs> okay. Just, yeah. And you just cruised it past that blue just, flag that you were hitting it close to earlier. Yeah, and it felt like I wasn't really even, well, I haven't been trying to swing too hard because I'm just trying to get used to the grip and make like a, a solid swing, whereas before it was like my normal full swing and that went way further. So the, the woe was like, oh, what's yeah, that? Like, what is that feeling? Like, what, yeah, for sure. A lot of people fiddle around with the grip and they end up going back to what's comfortable. Wynn's doing a great job of here of, of committing to what we want. Okay, again, look at the difference in in direction and I'm okay with it missing left at the moment because it's going to enable us to work the body better yep. um, but now what we're seeing is alignment is absolutely dead on yep. and now what we're seeing is a result of the golf swing so I, I love seeing a stronger flight left because sure. the body can start to work in a better way so okay. give me two more shots Jeez. again notice the the shape of the shot yeah. it's not it's not curving offline now yeah. Simple grip change though, yeah? Yeah. Simple grip change. We're going to give you a drill. I'll, I'll, we've got this drill from David Ledbetter years ago, Pierce. And this is, uh, we call it sort of flick the mud. Imagine okay. you had something on the end of this, a mud. Okay. We're going to flip it round. So this is really light. Now, at the minute, your energy is moving with the body, which gets us out of sequence. We've got a lot of early body turn and not a lot of club movement. What's the difference here now? So as I'm really just feeling the energy, but I'm also feeling the hands and the wrists soften here. 
So by the time my lead arm's parallel, it's really easy to get to this. Awesome. But notice as I'm doing this, as I'm bringing the energy in, look at the head. It's relatively steady. It's certainly not moving out the box, but I'm just feeling the energy into the hands and the arms as opposed to you doing, doing this. So okay. let's flip it round. Let's sort of grip it like this. Okay. And you jump in, in, the, in there for us. Okay. This is a great drill. Do you know what, the thing is, what Wynn's doing is a rare thing. We don't see this lots, but to get these hands working, it's going to feel really weird. So if you just come back to here for oh, yeah. me. Good. good. Keep hold of the club. Yep. Excellent. It's even got a good grip now on this one. <laughs> so just nice and soft with these hands for me. Good. A okay. little, little, little firmer, a little firmer. That's it. Okay. Okay. Just want to feel that we can use these wrists. Okay. There you go. So we're going to swing, we're going to sort of set it in front. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. I've what was the O? What was he said O again? I've what was never the o? Uh, bent my wrist like this before. Okay, so this is really exaggerating the feel now. So you're really feeling as if we're going to set it and then boom. Okay. We're really feeling the energy now getting into the golf club. So soft hands, we're just yeah. going to sort of set it here, get some momentum. So soft hands again there, so that's perfect. So now what we've got is we've got, by the time your lead arm is here now, we've got this nice L shape. I think this is a great thing for you to do in the mirror at home. Okay. So just get into this point and you're going, have I created this out? Do a few of those for me. So set it in front, momentum, and then just swing back. Have a look. Good, feel different? It feels very different. Good. Most golfers need a little bit less wrists a lot of the time. We're adding some in for you, which is going to be a, definitely a speed thing, but also it's going to help straighten things out a little bit more. Flip it around. All right. Now, now is the time. So then what we're just going to do is we're going to just Get a feet. I'm going to take you through some work on this. So take your setup, good grip. Okay. Let me put put you into a good uh, feeling on this. Okay. Very different with the club head now. It's a bit heavier. Yeah. Um, but let's just have a little bit of a go with this. So soft hands. I'm just yeah. going to set it forward a little bit. Okay. Swing back. There you go. Um, so again here. Good. Yeah. So again, mirror work at home for you. This is your checkpoint. Okay. And as a result of putting the energy into the club head now, what we're going to start to see, he won't even be thinking about his head. What we'll see is the head will take care of itself. There'll be less shift because now we're just going energy into the club. So this is a this is a buy one get one free. <laughs> you work on the one thing, you get the other one for free. You didn't know he's paying for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Really, nice. really nice. That was nice. really good considering that was the first swing that you did. That went really oh, soft, nice. and you still hit the, hit it close to the flag. Yeah. What I loved about that, what you did as well there, uh -huh. you had this little rehearsal of softening things up here. Mm -hmm. If that feels good to you, yeah. I, lo I, I love that. I'm okay, okay with that. I think that's good. All right. Holy cow. Oh, look at those two. We're like right on. <laughs> two, yeah. I mean, they were like both within 10 feet of the flag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, I just, because I'm concentrating on the changes, I'm not, I'm not trying to swing very much. Yeah, yeah. It's just, but it's going just as far, maybe a little further even really than my previous. Without trying to hit it so hard. Right, right. Well, now we've got another lever. Yeah. Now we're creating some energy in the club where the lever that you had before was, yeah. was just this. That's wild. All right. Yeah, nice shot. Nice. Tasty, that strike. I mean, really crisp strike. It's gone oh. a long way. Yeah, that was gonna... It's gone a long oh, way. Way further than before. Okay, so I just think, look, one of the, the great drill, this, this sort of flick the mud drill, I really think this is a great way just to condition a good set in the club. If you struggle with this, great way to just do this, get the energy, but also hear that whoosh at the bottom. So set and hear that whoosh, it just gets the energy into the club. This is where we get a lot of the speed instead of all this sort of heavy body motion, really. If we can get a nice centered pivot, and get the wrists and arms working together. It's huge. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that is just so good. That was just so pure. Yeah. That was another one of those, whoa! Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> that was so pure. Yeah. I mean, what a ball flight. Yeah, that was. Penetrating, just bullet straight. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't get over just how, you, like, I feel like I'm not really, I feel like I'm just taking the practice swing because, yeah, yeah. you know, I want to make sure I get a good strike, but. I mean, the distance is, it's crazy. Yeah, from, yeah. from now you're actually doing less work, mm -hmm. more energy. That was, that was that's, for me, that was the best shot you hit today. That was for so sure. nice. Yeah, that felt great. So you're really almost feeling, keep hold of it here. Yeah. So as you're swinging back, you sort of got, 
we've sort of got it starting to happen here. Mm -hmm. but this is way, this feels like it's way too early. Yeah. But this is, in order to get it, that's what you're going to need to feel. Okay. So the, the feel there, there you go, is, is in the reality is actually just smack on. Yeah. There you go. Love that. So see, it's almost just happening in immediate. Right. It's like perfect. that. That is the perfect. Almost like that is the takeaway now. So just show me that okay. sort of early set where you're just feeling everything's moving. Nice. And interesting. The ball flight was even lower than maybe than some of the other ones. Right by the flag again. Boring, boring, boring. Can you be, be my playing partner next week? I've got a big, got a big game on Friday. Can you, can you? Can you join me? Probably one of the the best performances in a live lesson there. How consistent that was. Thanks. How consistent that Thanks. was was incredible. The amount of straight shots, unbelievable. Thank you. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you hit the like if that was good. And also, if you want more coaching from myself and Pierce, click here to check out meandmygolf.com or download the Me and My Golf app. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.